Today we're talking about amplifiers. You've got bare bones equipment. You've just started or you live in a very expensive part of the country like Los Angeles or New York and you have a guitar and you've got gigs. What do you take on the road? What do you take to the club? Well today I'm going to talk about solid state amplifiers. I'm going to compare that to my Fender Princeton Reverb reissue tube amplifier. People talk about how they don't like solid state. It doesn't sound warm. It doesn't have all the things that we love about tubes. What tubes brings to the table is all this warmth. They bring all this, this overdriven, this natural sag. It's really great. Can you do that with a solid state amp? We'll see. What tubes bring to the table negatively? They're hard to haul around. It's hard on them to haul them around. Um, if you travel across the country, if you got protection for it, it's great. If you're going from club to club to club, you can do that. Absolutely, people do it every day. But solid states come a long way. Uh, Reinhard Bogner said, if I can make a solid state amplifier sound like a tube amplifier, I can do it with half the weight and a quarter of the cost. So. I think, I think we're getting closer with Line 6 doing their modeling with Kemper, with Axe FX. We're getting pretty dang close to traveling without a tube amp. I think we like tube amps because it's cool, because it's vintage. I know I do. So here we go. Hello and welcome back. Here we are with the Princeton Reverb reissue, playing it through my Bryson uh, custom guitar. My friend Dave Bryson built this for me. Uh, just got it about a week ago. And it's got PAFs in it from uh, Gibson 57. And uh, I'm in open D. This is the Princeton with just no sauce on it. Just straight amp. No tremolo, no reverb. <laughs> Here's the front.
So that's the Princeton. Let's see what the quilter sounds like. All right, so we've hooked up the quilter, going straight to it, headed to the cabinet right there, and it's got the Celestian Lead 80 in it. Granted, this is a 12 inch speaker versus the 10 inch that was in the Princeton, but that's, you know that now. So here we go. Front pickup. Well, here are my thoughts. Obviously, the the tube amp has more warmth and more texture and more all of the stuff that we love about tube amps. Uh, going straight into it, no real, no frills, just straight boom. Tubes, strings, wood, and that's it. The quilter with that particular guitar is a little on the dark side. I tried to EQ it a bit. Uh, passable, I mean, you could get by with the quilter, no problem. Um, but this is why we have pedals and we have effects and we can do things to the sound uh, with solid state to really give us that ampy feeling. The breakup on the quilter was not bad at all. I'm not a great lead player and I'm a little tentative with that, so bear with me on that. But, you know, for the most part, when I've played it out live and I'm not so afraid of making mistakes, I will, uh, you know, I think it sounds pretty good. But, you know, the Princeton is the Princeton and uh, it's my new amp. It's the one I love, so I, I'll probably play a little differently with it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe, the whole nines, everybody's always asking for it, hit the bell. Uh, I want to try to build this channel. Uh, I don't know how to do that, I'm working on it, but uh, with your help I can. So share this with your friends. If you're into guitar, you're into learning guitar, uh, I'm going to share how I learn. I'm going to share kind of, I play in open tuning, so it's a little different than most. Uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, JT Keel, and love your struggle you know again it's where you find when you get through it man you that's the fire and you come out on the other side and you know you've done it so 
Love you, struggle. See ya.